So me and a friend had a little conversation about this uh, the other night, and that is the matter of Jesus turning the water into wine, which we read about in John chapter 2. And he asked me if I thought that the wine was alcoholic wine. And I said that, yes, I believe it was. Now, I'm starting to realize that there are a lot who teach otherwise. I mean, I've heard it before. And uh, I've heard, I think I've heard Mike Hoggard teach this. I guess that I think that maybe Jason Cooley teaches this. This person told me that. And I, I, I listened to a little bit of Cooley's teaching on it. But uh, I think he... I think he does teach this. I'm saying they don't. They don't agree with me. They say that um, Jesus made grape juice. Basically, he made non-alcoholic wine. I say that Jesus made alcoholic wine, but there are those who would say otherwise. That Jesus basically made grape juice. <laughs> okay, um, and they'll use this, like John chapter two verse ten. Um, and saith, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. So they'd say, like, the good wine means non-alcoholic wine, because alcoholic wine would be bad. And uh, they'll use verses that seem to say that wine is bad. You know, well, drunkenness is a sin, that's for sure, but... Um, alcohol in and of itself isn't evil okay and we know because Paul said uh, for Timothy to drink wine and they can deny that that is alcoholic wine as well but that's just false it, it is alcoholic wine okay um, you know not with the high alcohol content of you know stuff that's sold today it's not liquor or anything but um, still alcohol in and of itself isn't evil and you know I'm not to promote alcohol in any way either I mean I come from a family of alcoholic you know alcoholism and you know I've had two DUIs myself before I was saved so I certainly know about alcohol addiction and all the stuff that goes along with that and uh, so it's definitely definitely wicked um, as far as you know drunkenness but um, alcohol in and of itself is not evil I know I've repeated that over and over again but I do think that Jesus made alcoholic wine and so this isn't a huge study on this or anything but I'm just gonna throw that out there that that is my position and I listened to Brian Denlinger uh, teach his position and I think he says that he thinks that uh, Jesus did create alcoholic wine, and he see, he says that alcohol is not a sin in and of itself either, but then he says, like, in Acts, when they were talking about the new wine, he was saying that that was like grape juice or something, that new wine is not alcoholic wine or something, uh, and he just goes off into some really stupid stuff, and I'll probably share that. But, you know, there are people who get into legalism and they want to make it to where, you know, for anybody to drink alcohol at all is a sin or something, and that's just not true. You know, there's a lot to consider as far as the weaker brother, you know, like someone like me who's had an alcoholic addiction. If I go out and if I was going to go to, you know, a restaurant or something and eat with a, a brother and they just wanted to get a glass of wine to drink with their meal or something, if they wanted to do that, then that's fine, you know, but if they knew of my alcohol addiction or something, that it might bother me or something, and they still did around me, then, you know, then that could be sin for them. But, you know, there's just a lot to consider, like I said, and, but regardless, you know, the, the wine in the Bible is alcoholic wine, okay? Uh, I think to say that it was just grape juice is just crazy and not true. So that's my position. So God bless.